Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Fallout 4, my name's Camel and this video is going to be a walkthrough guide in which I will show you how to acquire the unique Gauss Rifle named The Last Minute. There's several quests we must complete for the Minutemen before we can acquire this weapon. Firstly we must have saved Preston Garvey and the Quincy survivors during the quest When Freedom Calls. Secondly we must have completed the quest Sanctuary in which we build up our settlement at Sanctuary. After that is complete you will get anything between one and three Radiant Minutemen quests. These will generally involve you going and helping settlements around Boston. Once completing at least one of these Radiant Minutemen quests, if we head back to Preston Garvey at Sanctuary, he will give us the quest Taking Independence, which involves us reclaiming the old Minutemen fortress known as the Castle. Once the quest Taking Independence is complete, you will be given anything between one and three new Radiant Minutemen quests. Now you can either wait for three in-game days or complete any one of these Radiant quests. Once you have done either of these requirements, head back to Preston Garvey at Sanctuary. He will now give us a new quest called Old Guns. This is the specific quest we need to complete to gain access to the last minute. And this is the quest I will be walking us through. If you did find that quest lineage explanation a bit precarious or confusing, just continue progressing through the Minutemen quests and you'll be up to where we are in the video in no time at all. So once we get the quest, old guns we will have to head back to the castle. Here on the map the castle is to the east southeast of Diamond City. Once here we will need to speak to a lady named Ronnie Shaw. She wants to gain access to the castle's armory. If we follow her she will lead us to the entrance to the armory however it is blocked by this huge metal door. So we have to find another way in. We will now follow her to the general's quarters where there is a blocked tunnel. To unblock this tunnel go into workshop mode, toggle over the rubble and then scrap it. Now the tunnel is unblocked. Exit workshop mode and we will head down the stairs into the castle tunnels with Ronnie Shaw. Once down here we want to run straight ahead and turn right at this red glowing archway, then turn left and head straight ahead towards the barrels. Once the barrels turn right and then shimmy through this archway here, head straight through this archway, continue on straight ahead, turn left, do a 180 to the right and we will encounter a unique sentry bot named Sarge, who is a massive issue. After Sarge is defeated, we will follow Ronnie Shaw over to the terminal where she will enter the password and unlock the door. Once in this room, we just need to head straight ahead over to the door that enters to the West Bastion. Once in the West Bastion, head straight up the stairs and follow this hallway around to the armory door. Once in here, we need to head to the workbench at the back of the room. Grab the artillery schematics, grab the artillery supplies, and Importantly, in the ammo box on our right, we need to grab the artillery smoke grenades. Once we've grabbed all of those items, we need to head back to Ronnie Shaw, who will just be behind us. We must build and assign artillery at the castle. So now we must go into workshop mode and build at least one artillery at the castle. And very importantly, we must also assign a settler to this artillery. All this requires us to do is walk up to a settler at the castle, click the key to command, run back to the artillery, and click the key to assign. And now we have have built and designed an artillery at the castle. Once this has been done, we must follow Ronnie Shaw out to the front of the castle. Now it's time to test the artillery that we have just built. We need to go into our inventory and equip the artillery smoke grenades. This small building outside the walls of the castle is the targeted area that we must throw the smoke grenade. Once the smoke grenade has been thrown at the targeted area, all we need to do is stand back and watch. And once the targeted area has had the bejesus blown out of it, Ronnie Shaw, the woman we did the entire quest with will now reside at the castle as the armory merchant. If you go to her at night time, your interactions with her will be the same as any other settler. Importantly, if you want to barter with Ronnie Shaw, you must go to her during business hours. So if we go up to her and go to barter, go across to the weapons tab and down at the very, very bottom. There it is, the last minute, the unique Gauss rifle. And as always, the price will fluctuate depending on your character's charisma level, bobblehead effect magazine effects and perks. However, regardless of the price, I certainly think this weapon is worth every penny. 
or cap. Now the last minute should always come with the shielded barrel, the standard stock, the capacitor boosting coil, the long night vision scope, and the compensator. However, given past unique weapon experience, I think it's safe to say that it could come with anything from no mods to all the mods. To accommodate for this, I'm going to run through its base stats with all of its mods stripped and then with all the best mods applied to it. Before we look at the stats, as always, I have reduced all of my character's special attribute stats to one and I have no perk, bobblehead, or magazine effects applied. This way, we will only only be seeing the absolute base stats of the weapon. So with absolutely no mods applied to it, the last minute has a base ballistic damage of 110. Ammunition used is the 2mm electromagnetic cartridge, otherwise known as the EC. It has a fire rate of 66, its range is 191, its accuracy is 69, its weight is 15.7 and its value is 2328. So now let's check out the last minute after it has all of the best mods applied to it. To apply all of the best mods seen here in the video in terms of Perks, you will need Gun Nut at rank 4, and you will need Science at rank 2. And this is an important choice that you will have to make whether you want the Compensator or the Suppressor. As we can see, the Compensator gives improved per shot recoil, improved recoil control, and reduced range. Whereas the Suppressor gives Suppressor's sound from firing, exceptional per shot recoil, improved recoil control, and poor range. So with the Suppressor, we get slightly less range than the Compensator. However, our shots are now silenced or suppressed, making it harder for us to be detected while sneaking and firing at enemies. The suppressor gives exceptional per shot recoil, which is better than the compensator, and on par with the compensator we get improved recoil control. So the cost for having silent shots and having exceptional per shot recoil is a drop from 203 range to 185 range. And for me and my gameplay style, the suppressor is a much more practical mod choice, although you get a reduced range, that silencing of shots is absolutely sensational. So that is a choice you will have to make, but in this video I'm going with the suppressor. So here are the last minute's base stats with all of the best mods applied. It has a base ballistic damage of 192. For ammunition it still uses the 2mm electromagnetic cartridge. The fire rate is 66 which is the same as the unmodded version of the last minute. Its range has gone from 191 to 185 but that's the price we pay for having a suppressor. However the accuracy has boosted from 69 to 113 almost doubling the accuracy which is absolutely vital at long ranges. Its weight has gone from 15.7 pounds to 23.2 pounds and its value has increased by about 400 caps. And as we can see up the top of the middle, the last minute, 50% more limb damage, which is an incredible effect. The last minute favors power over accuracy. Each shot must be charged for maximum damage. So this weapon is best used from the safety of cover. Most importantly, the last minute and other Gauss rifles are the only weapons in game to use the two millimeter electro magnetic cartridges. This ammunition can be quite hard to come across. One of the best sources for this ammunition is vendors. Luckily, uncharged shot and a charged shot still only uses one ammunition. As we know, the last minute includes a legendary effect causing 50% extra limb damage. So if you don't feel like instantly one-shotting your enemies, but instead toying with them and crippling their legs, this is the gun for you. But seriously, this effect on the last minute makes it the perfect nullifying weapon for huge scary enemies such as Super Mutant Behemoth or death claws. One shot to the leg and you can take a holiday while they approach you. Interestingly, the last minute along with other Gauss rifles in Fallout 4 appear to be a crude prototype weapon. The capacitors and the exposed copper wiring run alongside the barrel and a Nixie tube display above the stock gives the weapon's charge percentage. The last minute operates on a charging principle. The user holds down the trigger to build up the charge and releasing the trigger fires around. Although heavy and crude looking, the last minute is able to deliver astoundingly high damage when fully charged, outclassing a hunting rifle chambered in 50 caliber. The last minute's ability to be modded with more capacitors, a shielded barrel, and a compensator or suppressor make it a lethal tool for the patient marksman. When I used a fully modded the last minute, even with no perk effects applied, I had almost no trouble instantly one-shotting any enemy with a headshot. This included super mutant behemoths and death claws. It should be noted the difficulty was on normal. Regardless, the last minute fully modded is pretty much your solution to just about every situation. The only real downside with the last minute is the rarity of its ammunition, the 2mm electromagnetic cartridge. And there are whispers on the wind that Ronnie Shaw is not the only way to acquire the last minute. It has been rumoured, although I cannot confirm this, that the last minute can be purchased from level 4 weapon vendors at your settlements. If you can confirm or deny this, please let us know in the comments. And I'd like to thank you in advance for watching this video right up to the last
last minute, and here it is in action. I've been Camel, I would like to thank you very much for watching, and I do hope that this video helped you in some way in acquiring the unique Gauss Rifle, The Last Minute. If you did find it confusing, like I said, just progress through the Minutemen quests, and in no time you will find yourself up to the same stage as in the video. If you would like to see other Fallout 4 guides, please feel free to click on the playlist button on screen. Of course, this will take you to my Fallout 4 guides playlist, where you can select the videos you want to watch freely. Or, you can check in the description where it will be frequently updated with links to new Fallout 4 guides that I upload. Once again, I would like to thank you very much for watching and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there.